Hey, what's up everybody? I'm gonna make this video I'm talking about the effect I believe and it's my personal opinion that the Silvergate uh, fiasco or ordeal or whatever you want to call it how that's gonna have an effect on the crypto and NFT space and um, it was it was kind of it was kind of cool that uh, when when Circle made their announcement uh, yesterday, a couple of us were scrambling for information, and um, we actually uh, um, broke the Silvergate news on my collectibles uh, live stream in the chat um, ahead of the other announcements by um, like Paul Barron and and others. So if you were on my collectible stream. Uh, you got the information a few minutes before um, the, the mainstream um, news media picked it up. So uh, let's get right into it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, what the uh, contagion of this is. So uh, let's look at bit, uh, the crypto chart right now. You can see, you know, even Bitcoin, Bitcoin is getting pummeled down 4.5%. Uh, uh, if you're looking at um, OMI, OMI is down at four percent, um, down to back triple zeros and below triple zero nine seven. You know, ETH ETH is down four percent. I mean, everything's in the red. Why? So this is um, well, we have to see uh, re really what happened. So what happened to Silvergate is. Uh, Silvergate basically uh, announced that what they're going to do is um, they're going to delay their annual filing because of the cloudiness uh, from FTX. So, you know, that sent their stock um, uh, plummeting and, and the, uh, the Silvergate uh, CEO basically said that um, they're not sure if they're an ongoing concern, um, you know, this year. So why does this affect crypto and this is where it ties into nfts silvergate is basically one of two banks mainstream banks that are crypto friendly and have been the on and off ramp for um, basically crypto to fiat so it's uh, silvergate and signature bank so huge companies payment providers like circle uh, and, was using um, Silvergate to do their uh, crypto to fiat transactions and Circle basically said that uh, this quote we are sensitive to the concerns around Silvergate and the process of unwinding certain services with them and notifying customers so it's not like the the wire incident where wire was closing up shop um, Circle is just basically stopping their wire transfer slash fiat um, off-ramp you know they still have their uh, uh, USDC option, but that's not available to um, as a payout option for uh, many of these NFT platforms. So the NFT platforms affected are basically Recur, uh, Palm, HRO was impacted, but HRO is is interoperable and thus. Um, you can do the transactions on um, uh, IMX. Uh, Palm is a walled garden like VV, so you can't. So I know that uh, a lot of people, or no, I wouldn't say a lot of people, some people are celebrating and goes, oh, look, a uh, wire is still standing. Um, uh, this is a do your own research thing. I'm just going to see my thoughts on wire. Wire is not using the SWIFT system like the banks. Uh, they're using ACH and um, my opinion is they're doing this to try to avoid the regulation but it's not going to work. Uh, Wire, the, I'm just going to speak specifically for the US. Uh, Wire does not have uh, the MTL in all 50 states. They only have it in 32 out of the 50 and um, I, won't com I won't comment on how they're doing um, uh, transfers into the other 18 states. Um, I'm in Hawaii and I know that they're doing transfers here because I cashed out and I all I can say is um, 
they're not meeting Hawaii regulations. I don't know about the other states. They also have a cease and desist order in Texas as well um, from uh, 2020. And you can check this all out online. So I made a previous video of how to do this. This is actually the um, uh, accepted site in the US to look at uh, where all the MTLs are. This is wire. You can see they don't have all the 50 states and here's their cease and desist order from Texas. Their regulatory action already. So uh, we'll leave it at that. Let's let's get to the more, more important issue. So um, if you think a wire is a solution, uh, well, maybe, I don't know. That's not my area of expertise. Um, I'm not betting my money on it. So what is gonna be the fallout from this? So this is a really great article in Coindesk, which um, I will post in the comments. And basically, what is happening here? So this is a multi-pronged, I would call, attack slash operation that's happening in the, uh, the US. So a lot of this is coming from uh, pressure from the FDIC, which is the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, which uh, came out in early February of 2023 basically urging the banks to stay away from um, crypto because they're saying that um, crypto will pose a risk to the bank and they're they're basically trying to set up a wall between crypto and and fiat in the US now why is this and this is this is exactly their their methodology and their um, their plan is actually working is showing itself in what's happening with uh, uh, with Circle and and um, Silvergate because basically what you're doing is you're cutting off the crypto platforms from fiat in terms of cash out. So what what's going to happen here? The, the obvious is what they're trying to do is they're trying to um, uh, limit uh, wa widespread adoption and that and that's what's going to happen so now right now one of the as we said there are two banks left that were doing this that were crypto friendly the other is signature and uh, signature is <laughs> being now considered the as you can see here the last um, the institution of last resort but Signature also has um, problems with FTX. The F FTX just, r the, the effect of FTX uh, and how widespread it is, is, is monstrous. And, um, you know, we're still seeing it now. And, that, and that's why this, the crypto market is getting destroyed right now. So, Again, you know, I'm in the U.S. Uh, this is, uh, a, a lot of this is uh, intensified in the U.S. So we're having pressures from Gary Gensler at the SEC. You know, we had the, uh, the judge in the Dapper Lab, Labs case. And now um, Silvergate, FD, FDIC is, is pushing, um, you know, trying to cut off the, the fiat money flow to, um, uh, to the crypto companies, uh, it, it's a rough time in the U.S. So, I mean, that's the state of the landscape. Uh, I recommend you really pay attention to this. If you look what's happening here, I mean, this is a head and shoulders pattern. Bitcoins should come down to the 21, 21.5 level. If it breaks that, you know, it, it may, it may move back down to the uh, 18,000 level. Uh, it's it's going to be some interesting times. It's going to be rough times, and I'm, I, I'm speaking for myself. I'm not going to liquidate my uh, NFTs, but I'm not going to put much more money into it until we have some uh, re regulatory uh, clarity. Uh, I am, I'm going to make a video to see where I'm shifting to and if you've been watching my channel and watching the shorts you'll see you kind of see where I'm um, p 
picking up more uh, f physical goods, whether it be comics and sealed uh, trading card boxes, especially Pokemon boxes. Well, that's a rundown on uh, Silvergate, Circle, the NFT space, and pay attention to what happens to Signature Bank. Thanks for watching and aloha.